What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Ride and Dad channel video or welcome if it's your first time. Either way, very glad to have you. Shouts out to my moms for giving me the shirt. I forget when, but she gave it to me a little bit ago. Um, we're placing the... We're, we're, wow. We're replacing the spark plugs uh, in this 2020 Harley Davidson Lowrider S, which is, should be the exact same for any soft tail um, and very, very similar for touring bikes and, you know, similar... Um, bikes but there are four spark plugs i went ahead and you know what let me grab them hold on <laughs> all right i went ahead and i did not buy stock harley i bought the ngk uh iridium ix these are a direct drop in i didn't get them because i think that the harley ones don't work um, i just got these because i was ordering other stuff from dennis kirk at the time these were pretty cheap um, and i heard good things about them so they should run at, at least the same if not better i don't i mean it's spark plugs i don't buy into that whole different spark plugs make um you know stuff run night and day difference i think it'll perform exactly the same um, these are the cr9 eix 3521 that is the specific um style that i'm or that it is it there we go uh specific uh make and model that i'm using for this so so the first step in this entire video is going to be to roll that intro Alright, so once your intro is rolled, rolled uh, your first uh, step is going to be to take the bolts off of your tank. You do have to take both the front and uh, rear uh, bolts off because you're going to have to lift this entire tank. You can get to these spark plugs, but for whatever reason with the design of what they did, um, on these soft tails at least, I believe touring as well, you have to take the tank off because the other spark plugs are pretty much directly under it. There's, there's no way to get to it. Um, I'll zoom you guys in a little bit, but there is going to be uh, several things that you're going to take out. There's the overflow. Um, in my head, I'm trying to remember what it is. Uh, I can't remember much bet between... I know there's definitely obviously the overflow, which is just the pipe that you'll you'll see, and then obviously the gas line. Um, we're going to go ahead and remove, there's an electrical connection that is for the fuel sender. We're going to remove that. Once removed, leave the tank, you know, put the tank back down again, um, turn the bike on and try to turn it over for a few seconds probably i i always personally do like six to eight seconds somewhere around there um that's going to try to use up the existing fuel that's in the lines but it's not going to send any more fuel because that electrical connection is is cut off um, so that's going to help you when you drop the actual fuel line connection that's going to not have a lot of fuel in those lines in that connector area for when you drop it it'll make everything a bunch easier so i'll bring you guys closer we'll do that we'll take everything else off we're going to lift the entire tank off and put it somewhere else and then i'll come back and explain what we're doing next <laughs> Did forget to mention if you have gauges on your tank make sure you go ahead and replace or uh unhook those gauges for me i did and i completely forgot to tell you guys that for whatever reason but yes make sure those are disconnected all right this is obviously your sending unit from your wires um to your actual spark plugs you have a set of spark plugs here and then a set of spark plugs on the other side we're going to tackle these first super simple you could either buy a spark plug wire puller or you could just be a man or uh, adult in your case, if you are a female, um, you're just gonna go ahead and pull those off. Then you're gonna need a wrench to get those spark plugs out. Now 
now is a good time to inspect the color of your spark plugs. They should be sort of a, uh, like a rusty color. You see mine um, are not necessarily a rusty color at the tip. Um, go ahead, that one is though. Uh, yes, I say they're probably both, both about rusty. That's just a little bit white on the top, but I'd say the tip is probably about rusty on both. Um, yeah, so here you have it. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the other two now. Uh, and then something to double check is make sure that your uh, spark plugs, the new ones, make sure that they are pre, they should be pre-gapped, but make sure that they are gapped uh, the correct one. So go ahead and get a, a gap gauge, I think it's called, or a feeler gauge or whatever. Any auto parts store has them for like 50 or 60 cents, usually, or even like a dollar. Um, just make sure they are, are gapped beforehand. All right, all done. The only last step would be to make sure that it starts and there's nothing weird going on. Um, if you just replace the spark plugs, I can't imagine how you could screw it up that bad to where it wouldn't run. Um, listen for noises. There's a possibility that you didn't connect one of the um, wires fully and you're only getting half your spark plugs firing. I mean, obviously it's still gonna work because you have two spark plugs per cylinder. So just something to kind of keep in the uh, the old noggin. That is about it, guys. I feel like in my head there was something that I had to tell you guys that I forgot to tell you, um, but I just, I can't think of anything. So if I did forget to say something, I, oh, um, the spark plugs. I mentioned about looking at them. Um, I forget which one it is. I believe too lean. That was a weird sound. Uh, I believe too lean, it'll be white 
and too rich, it'll be dark, uh, like a black. Uh, but like you, like I said, you want it to be like a coffee slash rusty color. Um, and mine were right around there. Uh, most of mine were a little bit black, if anything, but it's gone through several iterations of tuning, um, and I've barely ridden it, unfortunately, since the last tune I got. So I'm gonna attribute it to that. Uh, it's not a very good representation of how it's running all the time. So we'll see when I get ready to pull these other ones. Um, again, nothing was wrong with my spark plugs. It was just kind of a maintenance kind of thing. I haven't had the bike terribly long, not a ton of miles, but just something, you know, they were cheap, they were there, figure get it all squared away when I know everything's been replaced at the same time and kind of start fresh for the next year. So let me know if you guys have any questions. Check out my Instagram, my TikTok, all that stuff is linked. Um, hit up Tucker Speed, uh, use my affiliate code and uh, my affiliate link, I do that every time. My affiliate link and the coupon code for you guys to save some money, help me out, and then obviously help them out by uh, by shopping with them. Check out the Lowrider S playlist series um, in my, you know, my YouTube. Uh, how a whole playlist devoted to everything I've done to this bike and everything I will do in the future. Got a lot of stuff on this bike. I'm ready to, I'm excited and ready to take it to the Tail of the Dragon trip this year. More info on that to come soon. Uh, please go ahead and like this video, hit the subscribe button, turn on post notifications, all that jazz. It really does help me out and comment on the video as well. Um, all that stuff helps me, uh, helps the channel, all that jazz. So I really do appreciate it. And until the next time guys, ride safe, have fun, dad, Help.